all right hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back it's vmp and today we're here for another episode of the telltale games game of thrones let's just jump right back on into it where we left off i'd like to uh thank you guys for all the support you've been given this series uh you really seem to be excited and enjoying it uh i'm glad to see that uh i'm really liking it as well uh, i think uh i think this could be a pretty fun series um, also, uh, as you can probably tell from uh, my voice, I am very, very sick. Uh, the first episode, I, I had no idea what was to come. <laughs> that was only the beginning. Uh, it's it's several days afterwards. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived. Oh man, this place! This place is a verified fortress. Cut it! too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. Did we see what happened to his sister? You have my condolences. Thank you, Maester. I don't think we did. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ooh, hold it open. Yeah, all right, hold up. Where's... Oh, okay. And... Uh, slide. Oh man, that is. Oh, yeah. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Oh, jeez. Hold this for me, will you? More than you pouring maggots into my open wound? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Wow. All right. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Jeez, this guy, he knew his business. I want to see, what did he use? This might help. But we just... But we just jacked his stuff. <laughs> oh, we can just take this. Alright, yeah, we'll take that. Never knowing it might come in handy. But wow, yeah, we're just up and walking fine again. 
to look at or touch? Should probably look at it first. Oh, is that? Oh, those are his maggots. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> we back away. Yep. Uh. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. Uh, um. This isn't fan fiction, so I'm not afraid of this option. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Oh. Not sure I like that. Uh, we might. Mm-hmm. I may <laughs> be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. <laughs> can we walk? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. All right, we'll check out the Lord's chair. Uh, no, you oh. see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Oh, we are. We are kind of limping. Ooh. Just exploring around. The Ironwood Grove. Are we? Hmm. I wonder if we're in that tapestry. I feel like we are. Why do you look so serious? <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go up here. It's actually kind of badass looking. Oh, never mind. We're not in it. Oh, there's Lord Lord Forrester. Oh, right, I take it that's his son. Oh, that was the dude we didn't save. Did we have a chance at saving him? I'm so con. Oh, I don't remember if we did or not. But Asher, who, are, who is Asher. Asher? Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh, okay, he's in exile. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Yeah, I don't remember him, though. Huh. Alright. Let's, uh, let's I'll go ahead and talk it. to him. You do seem better than was to be expected. Enough. I believe your leg will be Exploring. fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Ooh. I wonder if she's our, uh, our lady friend, potentially. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? 
if you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. You asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove We're our We're keeping strength. our promise. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. We're not giving up, uh... His Duncan, secret. this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? Oh. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. No. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not I'll what you want. you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. Settles it then. Oh. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Wait, don't we have to tell the uncle our secret? Well, probably not. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. All right. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. 
Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Okay, then send Become us a there. ranger if you can. It will help. Send us there instead of the wall. If no one knows about it, then we'll help it. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. We will see each other again. Still not too happy about that, but oh well. Garrett, wait! Safe. Oh, damn, we're not even say anything to her. Okay. too well and if he was smart he would reveal himself I don't like this game anymore maybe something happened to him Ethan's fine he's just forgotten this is a game you found me well done Ryan oh, don't boy. worry it's just a game Ryan a stupid game I don't like it he was worried you were gone I thought we'd never find you again I'm right here and I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. 
We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. You have to understand. Being lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. Thank you for that, Roderick. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Man, they certainly don't, uh... Talk to us like a lord. Quickly, on our feet. Come on now. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay, with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Wait, why did we go the opposite direction? What? Makes total sense. Oh boy. Okay. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I, I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're the here. Business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Okay. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody Foresters. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You Foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. 
Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady yeah. Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering your losses and all, but this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Oh, let's talk shit. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Oh, he, he isn't even gonna acknowledge that. Yeah, you keep walking. Right on out that door. Oh, you, you there with the fucking Volca. You, oh, God. Get the hell out of my fucking. House. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Interesting. All right, guys. I think that's a good stopping point for today's episode. Your sister can help us. Let's go ahead and uh, stop it right there. Oh, lots of intrigue going on. I can't believe Garrett got sent to the wall. Oh, I I'm really enjoying this. It, it almost plays like like you're watching a movie, or I mean, like uh, a movie or a TV show, except you actually get to interact with it, and that's what. Uh, Telltale Gaming does so well with these uh, type of games. Uh, it's really incredible. But uh, as always, guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the series. And as always, uh, take it easy, guys.